So here we go, man. Let's check if our vitals are good. Sit here on the couch. He's gonna eventually tell. What do you say? Take a seat in my couch, and we go through a couple of questions. See if your dogs are still barking. Come on, sit down, Doc Mitchell. Let's let's have a chat. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat, definitely. House. Um. Investment. Night. Definitely dream. Bandit. Vaporize. Light, <laughs> Light dark, definitely. Human shield, that's awful. I believe he actually says something special if you say human shield. He's like, I'm kind of... He says something along the lines like, I'm kind of weirded out by that. It's a cookie jar. Okay, so we have word association, now we have statement association. First one. Con As I'm going to disagree with that. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Oopsies, I meant to I'm agree with that. I mean, it's not, it's not a deal. I missed that one completely. I guess it's like you don't want to be the center of attention. I disagree. I'm s strongly disagree. I charge in to deal. With Hold on, no opinion. Almost, Almost done here. here. What do you say you have Tell a look me at? What you me. see here? Oh, cause then we got picture association. Um, I actually see the angry two-headed ant there. Okay. That one looks like a beacon of light. Yeah, there we go. Definitely a piece of space age technology. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. To me, this actually looks like two people with hats on playing patty cake, sitting down. So it doesn't look anything like any of this stuff. But I'm kind of looking in the positive space on this picture. Art term for you guys. We'll do light in the darkness. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Yeah, let's see if this is alright. Okay, definitely don't want that. Definitely don't need science or sneak. I'm looking I'm looking for more of a guns playthrough now that I'm thinking about it, so I think I'm gonna keep it on speech, guns, and lockpick. My repair is 13. I need Okay, this this looks okay to me. I think I'm alright with this. Yeah, I'm this will be good. Let's continue. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Okay, let's see. These are your traits, you can only choose two, or none. <laughs> um, basically everything gives you a perk and it takes away something from you, so this one, you have three plus chance, plus three chance to critically hit, but your weapons decay faster. I'm definitely not looking for fast shot because if I'm doing a guns playthrough I'd rather have them being more accurate. Uh, I don't want to take the drop in perception without losing, because I don't have any glasses with me right now. Game plus five to all that, minus five to all that. This might actually be worth it, because I already have a huge boost in repair and speech and barter, all that. But I do lose five in the guns, but I think that one's pretty worth it. Your melee and unarmed attacks do more damage but less critical hit. Don't need it because I'm not doing melee. It's plus ten action points, but minus two damage threshold. Actually, I think we're going to keep this one, because I'm going to take the extra AP, um, and I'm going to get, let's see, definitely a trigger discipline, fire 20% more slowly, but 20% more accurate, definitely worth it, I think. I, I don't really, Wild Wasteland is not something that uh, I want to explore a lot in this playthrough, because you can specifically activate different uh, events with them, but that, that's what I'm going to pick for my traits. Let's see how they work out. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Right, let's follow the doctor outside here. And by outside, I mean, I'm gonna loot more of his shit. 
Oh, definitely. Get all the ammo in the world. Let's see. Whoa, what the heck happened there? It was definitely weird. Uh, what? Where was I before? I don't want to talk to you yet. Oh, I think it's over here. Yep, this is all the good loot right here. Definitely going to want to keep these. Certainly, because it's going to help eventually. I mean, we're not playing on ridiculously hard... Um... You know, difficulty. Well, really? Am I really saying this right now? Might as well just take some seeds, just because we can. We we raided that footlocker. Bye bye ammunition box. Okay, those are all gone. I'm just gonna check in here. I can't remember quite. Ooh, sexy sleepwear. I don't think I can ac activate access my inventory quite yet, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. That's just some Abraxo cleaner. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna explore the sexy sleepwear. Oh, I guess the oven's empty. That's fine, man. Whatever you want. I think it's finally time for us to get out of here since we spent, you know, 20 minutes in the first part of the tutorial level. We aren't even done yet. Let's talk to the doc. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Hmm. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Well, thanks for the offer, Doc. Here's the offer for Hardcore Mode. I really don't think this will be good. Uh, maybe in Fallout 3, maybe... Actually, no, because I don't think it is in Fallout 3. But anyways, ain't that a kick in the head? You actually get an achievement for this across all platforms, I'm fairly certain. But let's head out into the Wasteland. And, oh my gosh, I almost said Pandora, because I'm doing my Borderlands Let's Play, but... Holy crap, let's, let's hop out in here. And talk to Miss Sunny Smiles. We'll sort of explore the town a little bit. First of all, we gotta put on our sexy sleepwear because screw the Vault 21 gear. I really don't care right now. We we need we need to get some sexy sleepwear on. Just it's it's sexy. And <laughs> here we are. Ooh, bright light. Even that's bright for me, man. I ain't even hungover. But here we are. Uh, back in the saddles, man. This is Good Springs. This is the first town that you're in. Here's the robot that assumingly saved you. I'm gonna block his path right now. So I can put on my sexy sleepwear right in front of him, man. Right in front of him. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Why is my wave melee weapons plus? Oh, it's probably because I have the knife on. Maybe not. What do I know? I actually don't know much yet. Um, just talking about weapons. Uh, basically all the skills, the stats of the weapons. Uh, repair mod. Okay, we don't need to do any of that right now. But, we can keep this pistol. I'm gonna sell that right away once we get into town. Basically, damage threshold talks about all the different parts of equipment as well. Oh, the Vault 21 suit gives you plus two speech, plus two melee weapon. Let's let's put on the sexy sleepwear. <laughs> oh man, it just tells you basically everything about ammo and and such like that. So I don't actually have a radio on right now. I'm not gonna put one on. Just exploring the menus for you guys. This switches us into third person person mode. Yes, look at how sexy we are. Oh, how beautiful. Let's actually talk to Victor, since we're supposed to. Come here. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, thanks, man. Um, let's let's find out about more about these people after we say thank you, of course. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger. In well, shucks, you're amazing. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. Well, at least he dug us out, man. We could have been dead, man. I was out for a stroll that night when 
when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Well, thanks, Vic. You're just a great guy. Happy trails. Oh, man. That was a great encounter. Let's get going here. Yeah, take out our pistol already. Scaring the birds off. Don't want to make any enemies right now, so I'm not trying to loot much stuff. But then again, you never know. Seeing what we can do here. Let's actually go inside and talk to Miss Summer Smiles because, well, we're supposed to. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that you can get in the saloon that way. Go figure. Hey, what's going on, dude? Easy Pete, let's talk to you. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Um, let's find more about The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, thanks, Pete. Um, Critters we'll, we'll talk to you later. Critters move in there sometimes. Alrighty, well, let's go. Sunny Smiles is in here, so let's hop right in here. Obviously, the man in the suit, he was referring to the man that shot us in the head from the beginning cutscene, so... More will come of that! And just a quick note while I think of it, too. Um... Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her. Just a quick note, too. This is blind, basically, up to Novak. So, uh, completely blind LP. I'm just going to say right now, I suck at the game. So, I'm not very good, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to get better with you guys, with your help. I'm sure you guys have stuff to tell me anyway. But, anyway, let's just get on with it. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, we need some survivability. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Sounds good to me, man. Let's get let's get the hell out of here. And she's got the cutest little doggy. Look at him. Just so happy. Let's go back to Good Springs here. Gotta meet her behind the saloon. Maybe she's got something to tell us. Oh, we actually went out the the back ish door here. Is this where we're supposed to be? Yeah, it's right over here. Let's follow her up here. Maybe she'll take us there ourselves. Nah, she'll just go really slow and we'll mess up her walking. I love the sexy sleepwear. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's the vast, basically. This is the, uh... I had demonstrated to you, but <laughs> it would be very bad for the campaign if I did that. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Um, so let's do that, man. Hopefully we're just as accurate as the perk told us that we'd be. But I guess not. We just suck. Oh, there we go. She's, she also tells us to, if we crouch and shoot, we have better accuracy. There we go. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Follow me. 